Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for Monday the 3rd, no, Monday the 4th of March 2024. So today I'm going to make a fun fold card. It's called a WV, but I'm going to call it a VW fun fold card. I've made one for my son's birthday and I have made this card in the past, it was a while ago. So I thought I'd recreate it for my son for his birthday this month and I thought I'd make it and have it as the final card in my fun fold card for April. So thanks for joining me and let's go down to the craft desk and we'll have a look at what we're making. Okay, so this is the VW is what I'm calling it because there's a V and there's a W. Um, fun fold card. This is the one I made a few years ago. I can't even remember what the paper was called. Um, yeah, I can't. Let me see if I've got it written down. No, I haven't. It was a couple of Christmases ago and I did it in a class and everybody really loved it. So I wanted to do something special for my son's birthday card this, this year because he is turning 30 and he's not too... <laughs> impressed about that I don't think but anyway <laughs> we can't stop it so he's going to have to go with it so this is the one I've made for him and I've used the trusty tools designer series paper that has just gone from celebration because he is a mature aged apprentice carpenter amongst other things that he does in his life he also owns and runs a gym and he also is involved with Dolphin Swim Australia out of Port Stephens at Nelson's Bay. Um, so he's a very busy boy, <laughs> or I should say a very busy man. So this is the card I made for him. So you can see here, I made this panel bigger. This was just like a three by three square. I've made it four by three because um, I wanted to get tools on it and I wanted to get the sentiment on it. And everything so I've used the trusty tools designer series paper and as you can see I've gotten lots of tools on it and I've even put ones that were on the edge of the paper just hanging down and the clamp the tape measure and I've put a little photo of him when he started school so that was him when he was in kindergarten so I've had um, so much fun going through all his school um, photos and reports and certificates that he received. I'd half done primary school years, but um, I finished off primary school years and I did um, high school years and I've put it all into a scrapbook for him. So I hope you'll like that. <laughs> I don't know how much these things mean to our kids, but anyway, I enjoyed doing it. Um, so yeah, so I, I had a spare little kindergarten photo, so I thought I'll just stick that in his card as well. So that's the alteration I made to my W fold or VW fold. Um, I just extended this panel and made it 4 by 3 inches. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm pretty safe, I don't think he watches my videos, so I'm pretty safe. <laughs> So um, I'll show you the products we're going to use in the mini catalogue. Now this is the Perennial Lavender Sweet Collection. I actually don't have the bundle. Um, I've just bought the paper, the butterflies and the, the gems, the fine shimmer gems. Um, it's not that I don't like the bundle, it's just that you can't have everything, can you? But I know this is a super duper popular one along with the postage um, perennial postage bundle so it's it's a mega sweet um, you can get all of this and all of this <laughs> and just with one item code so it's a mega sweet so but as I said I've just got the paper the butterflies and the gems so that's what we're using today and I'll show you the other cards that are going to be in my fun fold class so this is a double Z fold card and it's focusing on the paper and the butterflies and the gems 
and I've used heartfelt hexagons which is one of my favorite stamp sets from this um, mini catalog and go to greetings so that's one of the fun folds that will be in my class and this one's the other one so this is just a, a very simple Z fold card and I've used the scallop contour dies for that so they're my other two fun fold cards so that's why I needed a third one to make um, for my class that will happen in April so this is what we're going to do today okay there is a lot um, I have actually tapered it back a fraction um, with Matt's card I've done layering on the cardstock with the designer series pa paper um, all through the all through the back of the card today we're not going to do that I'm going to do what I did on this one and just layer the designer series paper but we are going to layer the panels with the cardstock and designer series paper so I sort of tapered it back because otherwise there was a lot of cutting and layering and whatnot <laughs> so let me show you what we are using and the dimensions of everything so let's and all these dimensions will um i will put underneath um under down underneath on the youtube video but i might not get that to that until monday afternoon so and i will also put it on my blog so okay so we're using fresh freezer cardstock so this piece of cardstock is 14.9 inches by 29.5 centimeters and I'll just show you that's what I slithered off the end of an A4 piece of cardstock so I know that's not much but it just worked better to do it that way for all the scoring and folding and yeah it worked better so if you're working in imperial measurements it's 5 and 7 eighths by 11 and 5 eighths it is scored at 4.8 centimeters 9.5 centimeters 14.3 centimeters and 19.05 so not in between 19 and 19.1 centimeters imperial it's one that's scored at one and seven eighths three and three quarters five and five eighths and seven and a half inches so that's your card base then we have the panels that will go onto the card base. You have one panel that is 9.9 centimeters by 14.3 or 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And you just need one piece of designer series paper that side. Then we have four pieces of designer series paper that are 4.5 centimeters by 14.3 centimeters or one and three quarter inches by five and five eighths and you need four pieces of those then we get to a V in our card and fresh freezer card stock again it's one piece uh, 10.2 centimeters by 15.2 centimeters or it's four inches by six inches and it's scored at 7.6 centimeters or three inches I'll move that up there's lots of dimensions and cuttings in this one and then you need one more panel of fresh freesia which is 10.2 centimeters by 7.6 or four inches by three now i am layering onto my card um, panels onto my card front you need three pieces of basic white 9.8 no 9.8 centimeters by 7.1 or three and three quarters by two and three quarters so you need three of those to go on your fresh freezer pieces and then i've got some more designer series paper you need two pieces of these and then 9.3 by 6.6 .6, or three and nine sixteenths by two and three sixteenths so that's a funny and a funny measurement but anyway so I'll just bring that down if you want to take a screenshot of that with all those measurements I'll leave that there for you to do for a second I'll have a sip of water <laughs> I 
Okay, so I think that's quite, um, yeah, you've given you time to have a screenshot or you can rewind back and, and screenshot it. So let's just collect all our bits and pieces. I'll put these pieces, <clears throat> our V of our card and this piece I will put to one side and let's get our panels happening. So this lavender paper, I'm not even quite sure what its correct name is and I think I've put it away. No, I haven't. It's called Perennial Lavender. It's beautiful. That's why I had to have the paper. <laughs> okay, so we've got our card base. So I'm going to, on the first fold where it will be like um, the card back, base back. Does that make sense? hope so. <laughs> I'm going to fold that over. So then the next one is going to come this way. And then it's just like a concertina. So you're just folding them all like this and then that one will go back onto that. So that forms your card base and your W. Can you see that? It's quite easy, quite simple, just lots of scoring and folding. Okay, so let's, our designer series paper, I'm just going to pop it down and we'll place it and we'll get rid of these because we don't need those. <laughs> Okay, so this sheet um, I cut the top half of and I think I'm going to use there. Now, I was originally going to do that one, but I'm not sure. I think it's a bit busy. And when I turned it over, I quite like that one. So I think I'm going to do it that way. So you can see how... Maybe the other, the old one, I, the old card, this one. You can see how I've just alternated them. So I've had the focal piece that I put on the back on the third fold and on the first fold. And then I've just put like a plainer one that's not so busy on the second and fourth fold. And I think that looks better. So I think I'm going to go with that. This one is a little bit different because... I did like the um, the pegboard on the first, third and back piece. And then I did screwdrivers on the second and fourth. So, you know, you can choose, you can choose which way you want to go. So I am going to add my designer series paper. And this is where if you wanted to put um, another, pe another layer of cardstock behind your designer series paper, then this is the size your cardstock would be and you just take a little slither off both edges to, of your designer series paper to layer it onto your cardstock, just like I did here. But that's a lot of layering. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, let's just keep it a little bit simpler, <laughs> seeing that there's lots of cutting and scoring anyway. Okay, so I'm just using my Tombow glue to adhere my design a series paper to the cardstock base the card base and I've got my little tissue here for any glue spurtage I always seem to have glue spurtage I do not know why and honestly a siren going outside can you believe that <laughs> never fails we really don't have that many sirens go past or um, go along the highway, which is a couple of kilometres from us. But whenever I do a video, <laughs> that's when they come out to play. <laughs> so I'm just putting that in between the score lines and lining it up. Like so. And I'm going to put this piece. On my third panel, I'm sort of working from right to left, which is probably back to front. But anyway, I think I got a bit of glue. I did there. So let's just mop that up before we forget. Okay, once again, I'm just putting this in between the score lines. There's not a lot of room. It's quite a tight little fit, but I liked it like that. 
Okay. And then once again, so it's not really a hard card to make, it's just um, a bit fiddly. So once again between the score lines, and I'll just get my little, there we go, and then this piece. You just have to remember if you're using like a continual pattern, remember which way the pattern has gone. See that lines up with that and that piece. I can't show you, but it lined up with that piece. Um, if you're not using a continual pattern, it doesn't matter. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> okay. So pop that down between the edge and the score line. And that's our card base done. A lot less layering when you take that card stock layer out. And see that's going to go like so. And there's the W part done. How nice. Pretty paper. Okay, we'll move that over there and we shall bring in a V of the card. And I've decided to call this a VW card because we are a VW family. I um, I think it must be about 20 years ago. Oh gosh, yes it would be. Olivia was only about five or six. I had to get another car because I was having surgery on my left foot and I had a, um, a manual car at the time, a manual car at the time so the clutch, I wouldn't, I wasn't going to be able to um, depress the clutch down with the surgery on my foot for some months. So it sort of became a bit of a problem. So <laughs> we sold, we, I had to get another car. So I was looking at secondhand cars all over the place and that, and we found um, a VW Beetle on a car yard. <laughs> and... I said, no, 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 that's just being so impractical. I can't have that car. And so we went and had a look at it one weekend, I remember. And the kids just thought it was great. So Olivia would have been about five. Matt would have been about eight. They just thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. And, um, and I kept saying, no, no, it's ridiculous. It's not practical whatsoever. And, you know, I can't get groceries in the boot and I can't do this and I can't do that and my husband chimed in and said I could take his company car to do the grocery shopping <laughs> I thought you're not helping this <laughs> and um anyway we the kids went we went home and the kids got Matt got his cricket kit and Olivia got her little dance bag at the time that dance bag grew considerably over the years and we went back <laughs> into the car yard and made sure that the cricket kit and the dance bag fitted in the boot and so there as, as far as everybody was concerned it was a done deal we had to get this car <laughs> anyway we did get this car now I'm just dipping <clears throat> the edges into my fresh freezer ink pad I'm just going like this and it's just covering up the white edges of the card of the DSP. So I'm just doing that to make it look a little bit nicer and maybe a little bit more finished. I should have probably done it on those pieces but that's okay. We got away with it. So yes, so I ended up with a little v, blue VW Beetle, the new shape. Well, it was new at the time. I mean the car itself was five years old so it was second hand. But it was the new roundy, bubbly sort of shape of VW. I'm going to do this to my white card stock too. I'm t I really am telling a story today, aren't I? Um, so I ended up with my little punch buggy, as it became known in the family. And yeah, so that was my very first VW. And since then, I have had, how many have I had? I had my Golf. And then I had my polo and now I've got my T-cross. So I sold my VW. I was very sad. My Beetle. 
I sold my beetle very sadly because I loved my little blue beetle and I was known all over the place in my little blue beetle. I was known as Matt's mum or Olivia's mum in my little blue beetle. <laughs> and um, I sold it because my dad got quite sick. He got lymphoma cancer. And I was picking him up and mum to take him to a lot of doctor's appointments and treatment and what have you. So I sold it because, you know, it was easier for me to get pick them up into my car and just take them on to the appointments rather than load me trying to get their car out of their garage and what have you. So my little beetle got sold and I was devastated. I was so sad and <laughs> ended up with a silver golf, a VW golf and had that for quite a few years. Then I sold that and I got a VW polo. And I had that for about seven years and just at the end of last year I sold my polo and got my very first new car that I've ever had and I got a VW T-Cross. So that's why, that's a long story isn't it? <laughs> that's why I'm calling this card, particularly for my son, <laughs> a VW card because he then went down the VW path and he had a Golf GTI, he had oh, some fancy super duper golf, like it was ridiculous, but anyway, as young people do, um, then what did he have? Then he had, I think, a Passat, a VW Passat, um, then he sold that. And he had a transporter, a VW, tra a really old transporter, um, like an old combi, but the newer sort of thing. Then he sold that and got another transporter, but slightly newer. Then he sold <laughs> that. Oh, I think, and his former partner and him had a, a VW Tiguan. But yes, his his second transporter died a very sad death not so long ago and he has now got um, a Toyota Hilux. So I'm devastated that he's disgraced the family by getting rid of it, getting out of the, um, the VW cars. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my story about VWs. I, you didn't probably want to hear that, <laughs> but it's a bit of fun. But yes, I did get kind of talked into my VW Beetle all those years ago. You know, with the cricket kit and the little dance bag in the boot. Yes, Mum, everything fits. We can get this car. So that's my story. It's a bit of a silly story. <laughs> but I am a very much devoted and loyal VW owner because I just love them. <laughs> so there you go. There's a little bit of trivia for you <laughs> in your day. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our V, our V coming together. And we're going to position this here. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I might want to do something else. And I've got my panel that's going to go here. And I'll, I'll be attaching this part first so that when I attach this part, I'll know that it's not going to be misaligned. It's going to be behind that part of the V. Does that make sense? So let's just line this up. And I'm going to put a butterfly on it. I've got the beautiful um, 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 purple fine shimmer gems. And I've got the butterfly. So the butterfly pack. Gems are fourteen dollars, and the butterfly pack are fourteen dollars. And you get, let me tell you how many butterflies you get. You get forty butterflies in this, and it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to have a little look and see which butterfly I may like to play with. I have used one or two out of this. Not sure how many I've used. 
probably two yes or maybe one <laughs> and the beauty of these is you can pop them out but you can turn them around and I've just put some blending blended some ink onto that butterfly but I turned it round so it was facing that way so that's a really cool thing you can do with these butterflies so I'm just trying to think do I want a big one or do I want a little one I think I want this one let's have a look so push that in um come on pick it up <laughs> I can't pick it up okay I'm thinking I might have that one so I'll put that over there up 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 fragile 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 okay and now I need my little might have to get my go-to greetings down you know how much I love my go-to greetings there's this banner I could use across here and have happy birthday I think that's going to sound nice and so I will have to get my go-to greetings out I am going to just put the lid on my glue so I'm sorry I'm just sort of thinking this all through I'm going to use that let me get my go-to greeting so let's get I think I'll get Highland Heather down or will I get Gorgeous Grape sorry guys I haven't really thought this all through I think Gorgeous Grape actually so they're the colours that are in this paper. Gorgeous Grey, Highland Heather, Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce and Starry Sky. Lots of lovely yummy colours. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so here we go. I really love this Happy Birthday. It's probably going to end up not having any sticky on the back of it look how disgusting it is I don't know if you can see how bad that is but it's not very good <laughs> so it's sort of picked up all sorts of grit and embossing powder and what have you um, over the over its life so I am going to so this is a stylish shape banner, my other go-to collection. There's my happy birthday, I really like that. I'm not going to use that colour for my butterfly. I am going to get um, a blending brush and maybe just a piece of cardstock here. Um, and I'm going to get Fresh Freesia back and because I'll go lighter to start with and then if I want more I can add more so I'm just going to blend some colour onto my butterfly so I hope you will realise that tomorrow Tuesday the 5th of March there's a whole lot of online exclusives being released and Oh my goodness, some of them are so beautiful. And I was going to be very, very controlled. <laughs> but that didn't happen. Well, yes, it did. I could have been completely out of control and gotten everything. But I had to, you know, be careful. But I got a few things. And I could show you those at the end if you like. But yes, they go uh, they go online and are available from Tuesday the 5th of, um, I might just pop a little tiny bit of darker purple. And just um, on the edges of the butterfly. So I could have left this butterfly as white, but I didn't want to do that. Oh, I wanted it coloured. There we go. And that's just using your ink and your blending brush. 
I'll mop that up. Okay. So let's work out. That's going to go there, and that's going to go down here. Let's attach our little panel, and I'm just going to center it, even space on either side of my card. and evenly top and bottom and I'm just eyeballing it if you wanted to measure it you could but I'm not going to worry and because now I've stuck my lid back on my glue okay so I'm just leaving my fingers a little bit inside of where I want the glue so that I don't have glue hanging out I'm going to stick that down and I'll just hold that down and apply a bit of pressure for a minute. And we've just ticked over the 30 minute mark. So I'm sorry this is going to go a fraction longer. But sometimes fun fold cards do. But I'll finish off as quickly as I can. Okay, now that's going to attach to that force fold inside your card. Can you see one, two, three, four? It's going to attach to the fourth fold. So once again, I'm just going to put my finger where I don't want glue to go past. There we go. And I'm going to fold that over like so and hold it down. There we go. Okay, so there's our V and our W. <laughs> okay, let's just have a look at what we're going to do next. Let's finish off our front before we put our last panel in. And I haven't stuck that down because I want to stamp before I stick. So I'm going to stick my butterfly down though and I'm going to use blue dots for those. So there's not a lot of stamping on this card and once again I'm using the beautiful papers that we have to do all the work ah. and I'll put one up the top somewhere so I'm just pressing that down on the glue dot and it comes off so if you do it gently and eat and carefully it's it works <laughs> And if any glue dot is still showing, just get your stamping, um, your embossing buddy and just tap it over the what could be showing and that takes the sticky away. So it won't stick to anything then. Okay, so this is going to go up on dimensionals. Yes. And one I'll put three on probably could get away with two but I'm going to do three there we go now where's my pokey tool gone my old pokey tool here it is there we go and I'm going to attach that here make sure it's where I want it to be just hanging over the designer series paper a fraction yes okay so now we're gonna get our little heartfelt hexagon so this is our card it's coming together how pretty is it okay now we're gonna get our um, heartfelt hexagons in and I'm going to get this little floral spray And I could also put sending you lots of love and hugs. Let me think about that. Is that going to take up too much of our... No, you still got enough room to write, I feel. I think you do. So I'll just pop that there and get the block that I need oops 
I need a bigger block, I think. Yes, I do. <laughs> I've got so many blocks here on my table. And I want this one as well. So, I'll use this block. There we go. So, I'm going to do this, the sentiment in gorgeous grape. Like I did with the happy birthday. Sorry, I had that up too high. So I'm going to do this in gorgeous grape. I'm going to just put it down here. Nice. And I'm going to, what did I do with the stamp set? Here it is. I'm going to do my flower. I could do it in Highland Heather. I could do it in Fresh Freesia. I think I'll do it in Fresh Freesia. No, where have I put Fresh Freesia? There it is. There we go. And just put that there. Nice. How pretty is this? Okay, so there are my three um, ink pads closed off so we don't get into a mess and sorry I'm just popping things away I've still got to look for a die that I realized is missing in action from a die set um, so I'm, pop I'm making sure I'm putting everything away okay so that's gonna go onto here so I must have a look for that die before I do much more <laughs> Although I've got to write this tutorial up and I've got to send out my March newsletter so I think those things will take priority and then I'll look for the die that's missing in action I think it's been missing since Christmas so anyway okay so now we're wanting to put this here so that it's covered completely covered so what I do is I just get this and I grab a pencil and I just put a little pencil mark, corner pencil mark on either top and bottom corner that I can rub out and I can't see that one. Where did I put it? There it is. And Oh yeah, there it is. And then I know that I'm... Well, I just twisted that, didn't I? Then I know, if I leave that there and bring that over, it's lined up. So you can't see that back panel when the card is flat. So I shall get my glue. And I'll find my little pencil marks again. There it is, that one and that one. And I'll just go up a little bit. Make sure, yes, that's right. Make sure it's straight and press it down. And then you can just get a, an eraser and come back in and rub out your little pencil marks. That's the only time I don't tend to eyeball things when I want to make sure that it goes there. Now, I think we could put another butterfly here. <laughs> I'm just thinking now. Sorry, girls. Ladies, this is going to go a fraction longer because I've just decided I want another butterfly. <laughs> now, which one? Will I do that one? Let's do this one. Sorry, ladies, but I've just decided it just, it's just, it's screaming for it. <laughs> so let's grab a purple brush again. Where did I put it? Where's my purple? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's just <clears throat> use the ink that's on it to color. 
so it's so easy to color it's just you just got to be gentle so you don't um scrunch it up you know when you're blending the ink over it does it make sense I hope so how pretty are these little butterflies now I want to put a little bit more ink on that on the edges and we'll just go around the edges um, oh so nice just playing with such beautiful products I do love our products okay let's just stop there wipe that up okay let's see oh, how lovely is that I'm not going to do that <laughs> So this is a little bit of creating on the fly again, isn't it? I did that on Friday with my card and a cuppa. And I don't normally do that. I normally have a plan and I normally stick to my plan. <laughs> and there's a dog outside barking. No, it's not Rosie. Okay, let's just... Nope, the blue dot has spoken and it's stuck itself down. There we go. Okay, so now... I could use those butterfly gems that would be nice too but I think that would be too much let's get our beautiful purple fine shimmer gems now these are berry burst gorgeous grape and highland heather so I don't think the berry bursts are going to look right on this card I definitely think a couple of the let's go gorgeous grape I think that would be good. Oops. Okay, let's go gorgeous great. And because, you know, now Denise can't decide where to put it. <laughs> Here. <laughs> and two little ones. Actually, we'll do five on this card because I feel five is necessary. And we'll open it up and we'll put a couple in here. There we go. How nice. That's one of the cards in my fun fold class in April now. There we go. So that is a VW fun fold card. <laughs> So, oh, his little antlers sticking around the corner. No, you've got to go over there. Don't, don't be naughty. You know what, actually, I'm going to trim it off a fraction. That's probably sacrilege, but I just did that. Okay, so that's our fun fold card for today. Using the perennial lavender paper and the beautiful butterflies. I don't even know what they're called. Something butterfly. Paper butterfly accents. That's what they're called. And you get 40 butterflies. How cool is that? And the gems are $14. The butterflies are $14. And the designer series paper is $21.75. So that's our card for today. These are our other fun fold cards that will be happening in April. That's a double Z fold, and this is just a plain Z fold. So they're my three fun fold cards, and this is the special one. <laughs> my very special one, for someone very special. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me just find my mouse. I hope you enjoyed that fun fold card today it's um it's a nice one oh this way <laughs> it's really nice i think it's nice and that paper that perennial lavender paper is just stunning all our papers are stunning quite frankly <laughs> but yeah so it just goes to show you don't need the whole sweet collection to make a beautiful card 
our papers and a few sentiments and some um, embellishments can make stunning cards. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all have a great Monday and a great week. Um, don't forget that the on new online... Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Some of the online exclusives. Let me... I'll just quickly show you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Back to the desk. Okay. So there's this Latte Love Bundle. And it's a sweet collection. It comes with designer series paper. Um ribbon and bling embellishments and it's beautiful and it's got some great dies in it so you've got a coffee press a plunger plunger coffee and you've got i don't know percolated coffee let me find the that's they're all the the dies that cut out the coffee plungers and everything and then you've got other dies to cut the cups out and, yeah, the spoons and all sorts of things. So that's the Latte Love Bundle, or it's called a Little Latte, the sweet collection. Um, this is another one called Happy Little Things. It's some, got some great sentiments. It is a bundle. You get two banner dies as well if you get the bundle, but I didn't want the banner dies, so I just got the stamp set. And this is the Magnolia Mood stamp set. Um, and it's a... Oh, it's a bundle. It's a bundle. Oops, here's some playing I've been doing. Um, beautiful detailed dies and beautiful stamps. So they are some of the online exclusives that are coming um, out on Tuesday, the 5th of March. So all you need to go is go to my... Oops, hang on. Go to my blog, stampingpassion.blogspot.com. Um, click on the March host code or the stamping up logo. And that takes you straight to my online store. Once you get to the online store, if you go, I think it's over on the left, if you hit shop products and the drop down menu will drop down and you'll just choose online exclusives. And that will take you straight into the online store, straight to the online exclusives where you can have a look at everything that's being released on Tuesday, plus everything that's already there. So have a great Monday. Have a great week. I will see you on Friday for Card and a Cuppa. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, like and share my YouTube channel as I'm trying to grow it. And have a wonderful week. Bye for now.